This is the morning office for March 10th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 107, verses 1 to 3 and 17 to 22. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Numbers. From Mount Hor the Israelites set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole, and whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought on silence today comes from one of the authors I'm reading who says, God's only power is to love silently. God is love, and love cannot compel, force, or oppress anyone into loving it in return. This, I think, is a good message to us as we think about our good works, how often we do them silently, not literally silently without speaking, but silently without advertising or without promoting ourselves in some way, how often do we act truly in silence out of love? And how often are those acts appreciated for what they truly are? A perhaps only pale reflection of God's love, but nonetheless our attempt to act in love toward others as God acts in love toward us. So, a thought to meditate on today, whether in fact we love silently as we go through the acts that we do as faithful people. I ask your prayers for the day, for the world, and for the church. Pray for those our neighbors who are 
striving for greater justice and greater equity in our community. Pray that they will have wisdom and energy to do that and that we also will have strength and insight to see what they are doing and to join it in whatever we, way we are able. Pray for the world that hostilities will cease, that peoples will learn to live together in peace, that situations where power and advantage have been what has driven the way people relate to one another will be replaced with a truer reflection of divine love. And pray for the church, that in all things it will reflect the humility of God's love, the inability of God to love in any way other than meekly, silently, and without force or oppression. Gracious God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread, which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.